Can I practice in a mental health hospital as an adult trained nurse? Can I get a mental health nursing registration with the NMC as a general trained nurse? Those are the questions we will be tackling in this video. Hello, if you're joining for your very first time, you're highly welcome. My name is Banestin. For my returning subscribers, I love you all. Thank you so much for your support. In this channel, we talk about life abroad, career abroad, schooling abroad, and everything you need to know when you are leaving your home country to go to other countries. So let's dive straight into the video and talk about practicing in the United Kingdom as a general nurse in a mental health hospital or how to obtain a mental health nursing pin as a general nurse in the United Kingdom. Let me give an overview of general nursing. For nurses coming from abroad or internationally trained nurses working in the United Kingdom, many of them had gone through a general nursing pathway. General nurses are nurses that are trained from their home countries to go through all the sections of nursing. So you can practice in mental health or what we generally call psychiatric hospitals. You can practice in adult setting. You can practice in pediatric setting. You can practice in modern child health setting. When I talk about modern child health, it's all about uh, antenatal, postnatal, delivery, all those things. Yes, general nurses can practice in all of these domains. Now, moving into the United Kingdom, when you are registering with the Nursing and Midwifery Council to obtain a nursing pin, the first thing they'll ask you is, which section do you want to register into? Is it adult nursing, pediatric nursing, learning disability nursing, or mental health nursing, or midwife? Most general trained nurses pick adult nursing because it's a little bit confusing to them. They think that it's like, is it a specialty? Is it? It's just that in the United Kingdom, they specialize their nursing from the onset. So you just go straight into the specialties. So most people will be scared to pick any other domain. Some people even come back and ask, them, what is adult nursing? <laughs> Seriously, because they know nursing as nursing. They don't know that there's a nurse, adult nurse. They know that if you are a nurse, you can work in all those domains. So if any of those things come now to put in place, they think that it's a particular specialty that after your nursing course, you must have enrolled in. So for my internationally trained nurses, you can pick any of that domain if you are confident and if you have experience in any of those domains. So if you are a general trained nurse and you have been working in a psychiatric hospital, for instance, in your country, you can pick a mental, you can pick the mental health nursing registration. Yes, straight away. You don't need to come and do any mental health training in the United Kingdom. You just pick it straight away. You do your registration and put up your documents like all other nurses are doing. When it comes to your CBT, the, when it comes to the CBT, you are going to be like a little bit oriented towards mental health it's not like something that will come from nowhere you definitely have past questions to practice on mental health cbt same like adult nurses they still obtain uh, same like adult nurses they still obtain past questions on adult nursing cbt so you grab those questions and practice you sit and make it through for your mental health cbt Every other nurse from abroad, once you get your CBT, you get your English requirement, you've gone through with the NMC registration, you are now waiting to undertake OSCE. They now look for employers. Looking for employer, you will be looking for employer under like a mental health hospital because you want to look for an employer that will sponsor your OSCE as a mental health nurse. I bet you there are so many jobs for mental health nurses and even for those coming from abroad, I, bet it, I think it's even a better option if you're coming from abroad because many people don't know about this. Now, come through here, employers get you from abroad. They, they know that you need some training to go through for your OSCE. 
99% of employers that I have heard and seen offer training for their internationally trained nurses to undertake OSCE exams, be it mental health, pediatrics, adult nursing, or learning disability nursing or midwives, they do prepare them. They have paid so much money to bring you here. They, are, they have paid for the OSCE exams for you and they want you to make it through with these exams. They need your pin as fast as possible. They need you to have this pin and start practicing. They are employing you because they need, they have this gap that they want to fill. No employer will want you to come and fail. So immediately you come here, they will train you, you go for the OSCE exams. So you are going to be oriented to write OSCE related to mental health. And it's something that you can make it. In as much as you are trained, you can make it. Immediately you get the OSCE and get your PIN. Your PIN is coming as a mental health registered nurse. Those who did adult nursing will go in, they will have PIN as adult nurses. Now you had your PIN as an adult nurse and you want to practice in a mental health hospital. What do you do? Look for a job in a mental health hospital. Apply. You are a nurse, you will be recruited. You must not be a mental health nurse before you work in a mental health hospital. Even from abroad, you can still get a job as an adult nurse in a mental health hospital. We were 10 of us in our batch, adult nurses employed in a mental health hospital. Can you imagine? Is that not beautiful? And it is also very easy to get employers that are looking for mental health nurses or are looking for nurses to work in a mental health hospital. Also, if you are an adult nurse, you have this pin as an adult nurse and you want to convert your pin into a mental health nursing, it is possible. You can still do it. The NMC is flexible. Go through their website and check and you see it, it's possible to convert your pin. Then the last thing I want you to know about is mental health experience is very good. I've had this mental health experience. It has impacted my career. The way I see patients is not the way I used to see patients before. It also helps you pick it around your environment, in your home, in your neighborhood, in your family. You can easily de-escalate so many things that could end up as a mental health disorder or a mental health problem in future because you have had the skills to de-escalate that. It is a beautiful experience. Guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet what are you waiting for kindly subscribe hit the notification bell thank you so much for watching stay tuned